In April, the prairie is like an ocean of green, full of flocks of sheep and cattle. I in the midst of this beautiful landscape. A herdsman galloped his horse. I in front of him is a wild wolf with a child about three months old in its mouth. Just then, there was a sudden chirp in the sky. An eagle swooped down on the running wolf. Everything came back to life on the prairie, full of flocks of sheep and cattle. Point one day. Twenty year old Harris took his wife and three month old child to the area where he often grazed. He didn't notice that there were two wolves following them silently not far away. They seemed to have some kind of plan. And were plotting something. A few wolf howls rang out. Point two big gray wolves appeared not far away. They howled loudly seemed to have set their sights on Harris's flock. The sheepdog tried to charge up, but was stopped by Harris. Wolves are cunning by nature. This could be their plan to lure them away. As Harris had guessed, the three wolves had no intention of rushing forward, but they had no intention of leaving either. They stood still and kept howling, as if they were sending some kind of message. Harris looked around warily. He looked at his wife and child. Although he was in the middle of the wolves and them, for safety's sake, he sent the sheepdog over to his wife and child. Seeing that the human in front of them was not afraid of them at all, the two wolves let out an angry growl and charged towards Harris. I in the distance, the sheepdog barked furiously. Seeing its master surrounded by two wolves, it rushed over to help. When it left, the two wolves that had been following Harris began to approach Harris's wife and child. Moriai was holding the baby with a worried look on her face as she watched her husband fighting the wolf. Completely oblivious to them, they crept forward, got closer little by little. As soon as they felt they were close enough, point one wolf jumped up and pounced on Moriai, while the other did not move. The unsuspecting Moriai was tackled straight away. The child she was holding rolled to the ground. The frightened child burst into tears. Luckily the ground was covered with grass. So the child was not harmed. Moriai did not turn her head to look what attacked her. But subconsciously crawled towards the child. Just then, the other wolf suddenly moved. IT rushed straight to the baby picked him up and ran off into the distance. Moriai froze for a moment, then screamed, Honey! The baby. Our baby's been taken by the wolf. Harris, who had heard his wife scream, turned around dot and blanched. He tried to rush over, but the three wolves in front of him saw what Harris was trying to do dot and intervened dot be why now the wolf had taken the child some distance away. Get the hell out of my way. Seeing his child being carried away by the wolf, Harris was furious. At that moment he caught up to, he was going to save his wife to, but heard Moriai shouting loudly. Leave me alone. Save the child. At these words, Harris gritted his teeth dot and went after the wolf with the child in its mouth. Another wolf tried to stop him, but Moriai plucked up the courage dot to pounce on it. And stopped it. That was the greatness of a mother's love. Being blocked by Moriai. Instead of fighting, the wolf broke away from Moriai and ran towards Harris. Although Harris's baby was only three months old, it still weighed about 10 pounds. The wolf was panting and slowing down. After carrying him running for so long, seeing that the wolf with his child was slowing down, Harris gritted his teeth and picked up speed again. But then there was a growl from behind. The wolf that had gotten rid of Moriai had caught up with him, facing it. Harris let out a roar of rage and struck it with a direct blow. The stick glided through the air and even brought up a strong wind. The wolf, who wanted to stop the man, looked at his angry eyes and strong body was a bit cowed and only dared to growl from a distance when Harris came at it again with his stick. The wolf turned around and ran away, headed for the wolf with the child in its mouth. At that moment that wolf ran to a rock where it placed the child on the rock, panting heavily. IT intended to rest for a while before leaving. This wolf had gray fur. Strangely enough, it had only one eye. If Harris were here, he would recognize this wolf. While the one-eyed wolf was resting, the black wolf that had blocked Harris caught up with it. Harris and it was followed by Harris, who was struggling to catch up. When the black wolf arrived, IT picked up the child and ran on and the one-eyed wolf didn't follow, still resting where it was, Harris looking now and then at Harris, with the two wolves working in tandem, 
the distance between Harris and his child was increasing, Harris, who had been busy chasing and fighting, was already a bit exhausted. As the wolf ran further and further away, Harris became a bit anxious, he glanced back dot and saw that the sheepdog had not yet arrived, just as he was at a loss for what to do, Harris suddenly thought of something, he shouted loudly into the sky, Kim. A few seconds after Harris's loud cry, an eagle high in the sky suddenly turned around and flew quickly in Harris's direction, Kim landed next to Harris, its head rubbing against Harris's body in a very affectionate way, Harris stroked Kim's head dot and kept saying something, then pointed in the direction of the one-eyed wolf. The clever Kim gave a peep dot and once again spread its wings and flew high into the sky, with a sharp whistle, Kim descended from a thousand meters in the air, staring at the one-eyed wolf. Nearing the ground, IT unfolded its wings, the one-eyed wolf was knocked over by Kim. And the baby in its mouth fell to the side that the baby cried, Kim tried to grab the baby dot but the wolf pounced, the carving and the wolf then fought, Kim was powerful in the sky, IT wasn't weak on land either, IT flapped its wings, opened its hooked beak and rushed forward. Ow, the wolf barked as it ran. As it howled, the response of the pack rang out from the forest not far away, turns out it was calling for help. The one-eyed wolf looked back at the struggling wolf on the ground dot and picked up speed again dot as long as he and the pack gathered, even the eagle would not be able to save the child, Harris. Who had been following behind, also noticed the situation dot at the critical moment, there was a sudden barking from behind, Harris turned around dot and saw Daudu, the border collie, coming, behind Daudu dot there were more than 10 sheepdogs, they also knew to call friends dot on the land. The sheepdogs were already fighting with the wolves, and Daudu ignored them dot and continued to chase the fleeing one-eyed wolf dot by now. Kim had swooped down again dot and slapped the one-eyed wolf straight away, the wretched one-eyed wolf was just trying to stand up dot when Kim immediately went over and clamped its mouth with claw dot at that moment, Daudu also arrived it bit the neck of the one-eyed wolf, only to see the wolf spasm for a few moments and then didn't move, afterwards, Kim and Daudu came to watch over the children, waited for Harris to arrive, soon Harris arrived. He was relieved to see the unharmed child, he stroked Daudu and Kim's heads point three years ago, Harris was planning to buy a sheepdog, he came to the dog market early in the morning, picked out Daudu at first sight, and bought it point one day, Harris was leading Daudu past the cliff. When Daudu seemed to spot something, and dove into the surrounding grass, IT turned back and barked at Harris, its tail wagging like a rattle, looking like it had found something good, Harris went over with curiosity, and found a young bird, struggling, and chirping in the grass. Harris picked it up and put it in his hand and looked at it carefully, dot, but as the bird was still young, he didn't recognize it for a moment, he looked up dot, and found a bird's nest halfway up the hill, this young bird must have accidentally fallen from above, when he saw the bird's nest. Harris froze instantly dot, as far as he could remember, it looked like an eagle's nest. Could this be a young eagle chick? Looking at the young bird struggling in his hands, Harris showed a surprised expression. If this is an eagle chick, it's easy to see why it fell. Under Harris's careful care, the young eagles were lucky to survive dot and started to thrive. The young eagle was later given a name dot Kim for Kim's health. Harris had studied the eagle's habits and fed it fresh lamb every day, I in such good conditions, Kim naturally grew quickly, faster than many wild eagles, after all. It was very well fed, but Harris was also a little worried dot because under his care, Kim had become very tame, Kim would eventually have to return to nature, IT couldn't follow him for the rest of its life, could it? This could not go on, after thinking about it, Harris planned to train young Kim. When Kim could fly, Dot Harris took it to the cliff dot and threw it over the top to help it fly. He also caught live animals for Kim to practice hunting. By the time Kim was two years old, its nature was fully developed, it was already hunting for food on its own, without the need for Harris to feed it. But it never attacked the shepherd's sheep. Whenever Harris herded sheep, 
Kim would go along, IT hovered over the flock, chirping and attacking. If any other animal approached, apparently having made itself into a sheep bird point three years had passed, Kim had become the master of the sky in this area. Harris hoped that Kim would leave that would fly back to nature and soar in the sky. After Kim defeated a few eagles, its reputation spread far and wide dot, and no other eagles came to attack. Thanks to Kim Harris had a much easier time when grazing, with Kim in the sky, Daudu on the ground. He did a very easy job dot didn't expect the one-eyed wolf to take advantage of the situation. Luckily Daudu and Kim were here, otherwise, you don't have to love animals but don't hurt them, the end result is definitely a lose-lose situation, because that wild animals have their own love-slash-hate relationship. They are clear about what to love or hate, they will find a chance to T.O. requite favors and revenge. That's the end of today's story, click subscribe for more interesting stories.